So for us, when we think of this idea of I can, this is not about human willpower. This is about recognizing that there is the presence of the Father, Mother, God within us that does the work. Uh, and so this is what we want to be in remembrance of as we begin. Now, you know, I'm from back east, and there's an old saying in Vermont. Uh, it says, reach for the high apples first. You can get the low ones anytime. Uh, and so I, I like that because humanly, you know, we can only do so much. Through our own willpower, through our human effort, through our human muscle, we can only get so far. And I realize, you know, we can get maybe a little bit further if we're really organized and we become experts of our own time management. We can do a little bit more than that. But the key, I think, is in being, not in doing. You know, out of being, we reach for the high apples. That's the natural result of working on our own state of being. We want to recognize that because we are the offspring of the divine, that there is divinity within us now, there is divinity within us always, and there is something much greater than we can humanly perceive, perceive ourselves to be, and it already exists within us. So don't we all know that, that who I am, who we are, is more than just this physical body? I think if you're here, you probably know that. You have some inkling into that kind of thinking. You know, I know we can have our lives work. No matter what condition our life is in right now, I believe that we can, I can, you can, have our lives work in a greater way.